What's up, divas and divas? So your girl is ready to do another wig tutorial. This has become one of my favorite wig companies by far. And this is only the second wig video that I have reviewed for them. But the first time that I did a wig for them, I was so not disappointed because for one, it looked identical to the color on the website, but even better, like a hundred times to the 10th power, whatever, leveled up better like seriously so the company that i'm referring to is wig only okay now they are kind of new but their dye jobs like their hair dye jobs on their wigs is like bomb as hell okay and not just from what i have received but i have seen other youtube reviews on their wigs like in various colors and those colors come out so so nice so if you guys are looking for a wig that is colored then you'll definitely want to check out wigonly.com because their coloring is amazing and not only did when i washed that blue wig it did not bleed it just was so pretty and vibrant i wanted a blonde wig and it was so pretty on the model and this color is like gorgeous like in person or on camera it probably looks shiny because it's the light but oh my gosh this wig they did like an amazing color on the roots like seriously i have seen some wigs that look like really choppy at the roots and they just blended it in so nice the only thing that i have to do and that's just not with them is i just bleach the knots like that's just what i like to do but the hairline is like amazing like the hairline on this i really did not even have to like pre-pluck anything because it just looked so damn good 20 inches and i'll definitely leave all the info the direct link for it. it's their blonde i don't know if it's a platinum blonde but i didn't do anything to this but just bleach the knots and actually just pre-tweeze a little bit i like the color because it's very light and i'm not really sure if i'm gonna wear it wavy like this but we're gonna see because i may just you know straighten it flat iron it but they have like some beautiful wigs and i'm really impressed with them so if you guys are looking for like something that's custom color you definitely want to check them out i know like when i get like blonde wigs or i've gotten a blue wig or I have different color wigs from other wig companies not knocking other wig companies but the colors just be really off and if when it's a blonde it looks like that brassy orange and i have to tone it it just is more that i have to do so when you get a wig and it's like the color that's perfect girl you be just like oh all over the place so enough of this jibber jabber we're gonna get into this video if you see me like my lips moving and stuff that's because got my ipod we about to play some music okay you guys so it's time to go ahead and style this wig so i'm gonna go ahead and put her on and it's super easy i like the hairline it, they did like a really amazing job on it like seriously i didn't even have to do nothing i tweezed just a very tiny little bit and that was about it you know so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and make sure that the wig fits properly you know sometimes when you get them they're a little bit too big so of course the ear tabs or wherever you would want your sideburns or ear tabs to just form at will definitely go above or past your earlobe so you want to make sure that the wig fits snug you know right above your ear so i'm going to go ahead and take off some extra of the lace and hair. So that is the reason why I'm just parting it. I'm gonna take my clip and I'm just first, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to cut the lace off the entire perimeter of the unit first because I just find this a lot easier. <clears throat> and like I say always, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of hearing me saying it, but small curved pair of scissors will make cutting the lace off of your wig much easier. Now, do y'all see this hairline? Like, do you see the lace? You could barely even see the lace. This is what I'll be talking about. They did an amazing job on this unit. Like, wig only, you guys. I'm telling you, definitely check them out. They have some really good wigs straight out the box. You don't have to do nothing. Of course, I did bleach the knots of it, but other than that, it was just like dumb easy. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of the extra lace that I left on. You don't wanna leave too much lace on, but you don't wanna take it all off and leave it right up to the hairline. So now it's time to cut a little bit of the wig on the side. I'm just gonna take my small scissors and I'm just going to snip away at the edges first. So that way, you know, I don't cut too much. Sometimes I like to do it a little bit different each time. And I'm just gonna get those small pair of scissors and I'm going to cut it right above my ear. So that way it doesn't like 
you know, fit too loosely or too big. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit at a time, as you guys see, and there we have it. That is the extra pieces, nothing major, and I'm gonna do the same on the opposite side again. It's always hard for me to get to the opposite side because of the way, you know, I'm right-handed, so. There you go, that is the extra amount that I really didn't need. And I'm going to make me some sideburns. I'm not making baby hairs today. I'm just gonna make me some sideburns. I need them, I love the sideburns. So I'm gonna use my eyebrow trimmer. And I would highly suggest either eyebrow trimmer or razor comb, either one will be perfect. Along with that, you get you some good mousse. So the mousse that I'm using is from the Dollar Tree and I use the mousse to sculpt down my baby hairs. Um, and my sideburns so that's what I'm doing right here normally I will cut baby hairs into the unit but I'm just going to kind of like sculpt my hair back and I'm just going to kind of like brush the hair into the lace so that's the reason why I did leave some of the lace on it just makes life so much easier you know and also will hold your hairs a lot better in place so as you guys see I just brushed the hairs down a little bit and up didn't even have to cut anything and you can't Look, I would like to be able to do that to every unit that I wear, but some units, some lace, some of the hair, some of the pre-tweezing, it's not as good as most. So this one, I was able to do that. I have had quite a few where I was not able, where I didn't need to cut baby hairs or camouflage it because the lace was really, really good. So that's how I feel about their lace at Wig Only. They have some really good lace and, you know, their coloring is amazing. So now I'm gonna use my Pump It Up Gold Super Hold Hairspray. This is what I use to adhere my wigs down. And I'm just going to spritz some right on top of those hairs and in the lace. So that way I can use my blow dryer and I'll blow dry it on cool. And I'll just use the back of my favorite toothbrush and just, you know, tap it in and make sure that it is dry. You can use it on cool or to medium heat. Either way, it's your preference. But if you don't have a blow dryer, you can definitely just use a head scarf for about 10 minutes to tie it down and then you'll be able to remove it and your wig will also be applied that way as well. I just like to use the blow dryer because it doesn't smash the hair down. You know, I mean, you can always just like kind of like lift it back up, but I just, you know, prefer the blow dryer. The blow dryer just gets a great hold. Um, but you know, if you don't have a blow dryer, you can definitely use a scarf. And that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry that hair or the products into the hair. Make sure you guys repeat and it's the same process all over again. Nothing special, same process all over. And you guys, I know you guys can see how this hairline looks. This looks just like, for real, what lace? Like, for real, what lace? I love when I get a good lace wig and I don't gotta worry about the actual lace. That's what I be talking about, you guys. You can find like the perfect hair wig website, you good money. Like seriously. So now it's time to style it. It was supposed to be like this wavy, crimpy look. That's how it came to me, this curly look. But I really wasn't feeling that look because I'm, I only wear certain styles in certain colors. And blonde, or like this platinum blonde, I definitely would not want to wear that curly texture in this particular color. It just wouldn't suit me, I, you know? So I decided to go ahead and just style it. So I'm gonna just brush it out real quick. And now I'm going to decide of where I want my part. You guys know I'm just like so undecisive about where I want a part at. First I thought I wanted it on the side, then I thought I wanted it in the middle. Then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to brush it down, brush it here, and we're gonna figure it out. But I really couldn't decide. Now the knots probably look a little bit brassy. I forgot to use my purple shampoo on the lace wig cap, on, so don't mind that. But after I did wash it again, it did, you know, look like unbrassiness 
And the stick that I used was the wax stick and I just used that to fly for the flyaways entertainment. And this is the part where I just smoothed it down with my hot comb. This is definitely not my new hot comb because this video was um, recorded prior to my new hot comb. But I do have a new hot comb by the Annie brand that one of my lovely ladies here on YouTube sent me. And I love it. It gets up to 500 degrees. Now this one, you know, is not my favorite. You guys have heard me complain about it all the time. You know, I don't like where the on and off switch is at. It's kind of awkward. So and it doesn't get as hot as I would like it to get but The hair was smoothable, but it wasn't like Smoothable or straightening out as much as I would have preferred it to with the hot comb You know so I did results or just do a different type of method because after a while It just gets very tiring just using like the hot comb the flat iron Especially if you don't really see any type of you know results so I'm still going to go ahead and just like hot comb the edges down you always need to do that if you don't have a hot comb you can definitely use like a blow dryer because you have guys have seen me use that before like i use the nozzle but i do think like a hot comb is really good for just laying the hairs down smoothing them down and allowing them to just like look a lot more natural So I decided to switch it up and I'm going to be using my straightener brush, which I absolutely do like this one a lot. And I'm going to definitely just straighten as much as I can. The hair is not silky silky. Um, it has like some texture to it, which I absolutely love because I don't really like that silky silky type of hair. So this one, this texture worked out really good, but it is something else to actually straighten. So you have to be really patient. So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead now and just style it. Um, with my favorite eight in one curling wand system and you guys know the gist of this i did put the glove on and i only put the glove on because i burnt my entire hand while picking the hot curler up off the floor i picked it up at the wrong end didn't let go held on to it for about 10 seconds until i realized oh you, you you're getting burnt girl you're getting burnt so i have like a whole bunch of aloe vera gel on my hand right now and it's entirely like really sore so that is the reason why i have the glove on I had to cut the fingers out really don't need to use a glove when i'm doing my hair but for this portion i had to because my hand and my fingers were blistering up so you guys, I'm just going to continue with the styling of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll definitely link all of the information below for you guys and where you can pick up this amazing unit. And like I said, straight out the box, you don't have to do anything. So let me know your thoughts on this one. This is the same company where I did get my blue wig from and they do some really good work. So yes, you guys. I tried, I tried to be on time for once But I still lose my mind When you are on my phone and I don't have to be alone Oh my, oh my, your kitchen floor is cold Cause you are in the same room, touch me like DiCaprio How hard can it be? Just a mega stoop. Trouble seems so far away, but I don't know your name yet. How hard can it be? Just like mega stoop. Cause we are always strangers, out to just like love stoop. How hard can it be? Just a mega stoop. Okay, you guys, so this is the end of the video. So, as for the hair, okay, it's um, it's a little bit, I'm not going to say sleek, like smooth. It's not as like sleek or sleek as you would think it was to look because the color, you know, once you do these colors, like when you get to 613 and you bleach it to so light, it's not as 
soft sometimes so i think like i would probably have to use like a different product to wash it with and condition it just so that way it can have its flow because it did take me a minute i had to hot comb it and then the brush thing wasn't really working that great like to take the curls out of it so i used like as much as i could of it and then i used my curling barrel to style it so it did come out nice and i'm telling you guys the ed the edges like the sides look at that this looks so natural like they do such a great job with pre-plucking it that you really don't even have to do anything but i just did a little bit and you see i didn't even cut any baby hairs this time i just cut the sides and that was it and whatever i had i just brushed it down and just left it so that's how i did it i made it easy to style just like this so that way i don't have to do too much work but i absolutely love it i like the color a lot i'm glad i didn't have to do anything to this color because normally when you get like these blonde wigs you have to tone them you have to do stuff because they come like this golden grassy goldenish color yellowish color and i really do not like that color so with this one i told you guys you don't have to do anything like seriously you don't have to do anything at all but just put their wigs on and go they do such an amazing job with the coloring to their units that it's like oh, man you don't even have to pre-pluck it. So I did have to sew a comb in the back. I remember the last time that I did get the blue wig from them, there wasn't a comb in the back. There weren't any combs in the sides, but they do come with them. Um, I didn't need the combs in the sides anyway because I don't wear them, but I do like one at least in the back so that way he could hold it down. But they did such an amazing job on this unit. And yes, hunties, it came out great. So you guys, you'll definitely want to check out wigonly.com. They have like the best colorist that I have come across so far when it comes to buying wigs you know what i'm saying like for real when you get wigs sometimes they don't look that great when they are colored and you have to just do something else but this one hunties yes and the blue one yas so you guys let me know what you think of this platinum blonde okay but i love you guys make sure you rate comment subscribe um thumbs this video up because, um share this with everybody you know let me know what you think i love you and i'll see you guys in a soon to come video